Well, folks, I can't get over the difference between this baseball game and last week's. When the Mackinac boys played the Mackinac Island never sweats, the hurlers could not place the ball fairly for the strikers. So it was a poor game with a low tally. But today it's a different day. With excellent hurling, we've had many aces. The tally is eight for the boys and seven for the Mariners. But the Mariners have two ballists on base, two hands down, and the striker is Big Thunder. You remember that last season at the old ball field down closer to the road, Big Thunder hit the ball clear over the school. And the hurler lobs one in. Big Thunder chooses to let it pass. The behind flips it back to the hurler. Now the hurler lobs in another. It's a line drive out to the outfield. The ball careens off the rock hard ground. Can the scout catch it? Huzzah! The cranks go wild. Despite the awkward angle of the bounce, the scout gets it on the first bounce and the striker is out. And so it goes for the game of vintage baseball, with its own language and its own rules. This is the Mackinac Boys' home field. The ungroomed pasture setting is typical of baseball fields at the turn of the century. Pictures found in the old issues of the Mackinac Witness newspaper have given us a clear look at the uniforms the boys, as they were called, wore, and our team proudly wears replicas today. We play several matches each summer. For more information, visit our website at www.mackinahhistory.org.